first on full. Just look who Paul O'Grady's got on his couch. The Paul O'Grady Show is sponsored by Schwartz. Sir Terry Wogan, Sally Lindsay, and Paul gets a special sucky. Please welcome. Oh, Grady! There you go, Olga. Good evening, folks. You all right? Yes. I wish she were this good Olga at home. Look at the way she sits there. The butter would melt in her mouth. You wouldn't think she would just been savaging somebody, would you? <laughs> hey? Uh, <laughs> do you know what I'm sick of? These daddy long legs. Have you noticed? Yes. I live in Kent. I open the windows of a night and I put, leave the lights on and forget. And when I go up, there's about 10 million of these things. <laughs> I go, as soon as you get in the bed and you turn your lights off, put the bedside lamp on, they all congregate like kids around a chippy. <laughs> <laughs> you wake up and you drink. All, I don't mean alcoholic drink. You know, like in your glass of water. And mozzies. Why are mozzies still going? It's nearly October. Why am I still getting bitten by mozzies? And my mate, this is what annoys me, my mate who, well, he likes to drink. Well, that's an understatement, really. <laughs> that's like saying Michelangelo likes to put magnolia emulsion on ceilings. <laughs> He's like, oh. He does. He loves it. He's never been bitten once. Well, he has. He's been bitten once by a mozzie. But the mozzie had to do six months in the priory, so it must have gotten out of <laughs> The mozzie community, not to bite him. So it's not fair. So if anybody's got a good cure for mozzies, please let me know. Right, let's have... Olga, okay, you're being very good today. What's the matter with... What have you done? <laughs> no, I'll go back in the dressing room. It looks like the who have been in there. What have you done? <laughs> hey? <laughs> you're a good girl, aren't you? Hey? Yes? Olga? You gonna look at me? No? <laughs> Buster's doing well, by the way. Thanks for asking. Yeah. There he is. I'm delighted to say. He's had his operation and it's all gone very well and hopefully he'll be back. Well, maybe not next week because he needs a bit of time to recover but the week after. But he's doing well, isn't he? Are you enjoying this job? <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't look real, does she? <laughs> if I put my hand down there, look. <laughs> Hello, Olga. <laughs> 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 oh, Olga. Can I say hello to my mum? I'd have a job unless I got a medium. She's been dead thirty years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, to your mum. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Can I say hello to my mum, Carol Hartness? Not my my mum's not called Carol Hartness. She's called Molly. Isn't that a fabulous name? Molly Savage. <laughs> Carol Hart. That's her real name. Seriously. Until she married my dad, who was Paddy O'Grady. There you go. You'll have to read the book next year. Carol Harkness, who's in the Royal London Hospital in Whitechapel on the Trebs ward. I think it's Trebs or Treves. One of the two, anyway. But she's on a ward in the Royal London Hospital in Whitechapel, London. So there you go. So get well soon, Carol. And happy 40th birthday to Debbie Hawthorne, who's in the audience. Where is she? <laughs> Hiya, Debbie. 48. It's a funny age for women, 40, you know. You start getting flushes, apparently, up your neck. <laughs> Shoplifting and things like that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't look 40. How do you feel? When is your 40th today? Do you feel...? Yeah? Do you... How do you feel about it? Don't let it get you down. You know the alternative, don't you? <laughs> Six foot under. <laughs> right. Dear Paul O'Grady, this is off a magistrate. We are writing you a letter to ask your opinion about history lessons. We find history fun <laughs> and exciting. Oh, you want to get out a bit more, love, really. <laughs> and we were wondering if you found history exciting when you were at school. I wouldn't say I found it exciting, but I did enjoy it, yeah. Uh, what, what, what's, it? what's this? Could I say hello to Mr Blant? Who's Mr Blant? Oh, your history teacher. You would be very thankful if you would apply our letter to... What's all this? <laughs> Can't kids posh these days, eh? Don't they, aren't they knowledgeable? 
In my day, it was a bit of a scroll, a stamp, Teddington lock, and I got a magpie badge. What's this? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Blunt. Yes, I love history. Learn your lessons. Get a good job. There you go. You all right, Olga? <laughs> <laughs> Have you sat on Chewy or something? You're stuck there. <laughs> I'll just do this, seriously. I'll do... I've just got to say uh, this one and then I'll, I'll do it quickly. Bonsoir, monsieur. Oh, ça va bien? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. No. <laughs> Tomorrow I am doing my French oral and wanted me, you to wish me well. Uh, did you do French? I did. I did French. I did Greek. Please say, bon chance, Miriam. J'espère que you too sera un bon exam oral. <laughs> Thank you. Great to have you back. Lots of love, Miriam. So there you go, Miriam. Très bien, mon cher. Adieu la vie. Adieu le monde. There you go. No more letters. However, I'd like to thank you for all your letters and your emails and the addresses. My <laughs> <laughs> medication's kicked in. <laughs> <laughs> and the addresses to write to are on the screen right now. Anyway, we've got two cracking guests for you tonight. We've got the king of the airwaves himself, the one and only Sir Terence Wogan. <laughs> <laughs> And direct from the Rover's return, the fabulous Sally Lindsay. Please. <laughs> and give away 10 grand cash. <laughs> yes, every day, 10 grand. <laughs> oh, well, it's only 10 grand. <laughs> I could spend that on the eBay in five minutes. <laughs> You're joking, aren't you? I put a padlock on my computer. I've stopped all that. And Doris and Barbara are going to try and get fit. Yeah, you're supposed to go, ooh, for that. It's a big occasion. <laughs> Doris and Barbara haven't moved for 42 years. <laughs> so it's a big day. <laughs> and I'm going to be learning how to de-stress with a special socking suit. <laughs> I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> a socking suit. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's all yours, love. It's all yours. <laughs> I know my look, and switch it on, I'll vanish. Let's <laughs> get dino rods to suck me out again. <laughs> Up next, the one and only Sir Terry Wogan. But first is yesterday's winner of £10,000. <laughs> <laughs> and today's all important question that could win you that lovely 10 grand coming well handy. <laughs> hey, after the break. Hello, Debbie. <laughs> Debbie. Debbie. Remember you entered the competition yesterday for Paul O'Grady's show? Guess what? You have won £10,000! <laughs> How does it feel? £10,000! You've woken up £10,000, Debbie. Absolutely wonderful, fantastic. So what are you, you going to do with the money? I think we might go on holiday. For your chance to win today's prize of £10,000, just answer...